ends and the credits roll and nobody gets up from their seat. Everybody's just like, I love you. <gasps>
When you first see the first crawler, it's just a quick flash and he's, and he's down reaching and, and licking on that water. I mean, I was freaked out. Freaked out to the point where I had to stop the film, get up, walk away, take a breath, come back. They almost don't need the monsters in this movie for it to be effective. It's such a good film, so well done. It really takes its time. You know, the descent does not start off really violent. It slowly, slowly gets there. Which way? Come on. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? There's no breeze. It could be any one of these tunnels. Take your pick. Go ahead, miss him. Oh, f it. I literally screamed, and and like I don't know why. I knew I'd seen the cover box, I'd seen the trailer, but at that moment it grabbed me. And when there's moments that can truly cause me to scream, like a little girl, I, it reminded me of what I love about horror films. The fight scenes where they actually begin fighting the creatures are very, very intense. The girls, they fight back. It's a classic scenario where, where once things get really hairy, they start to turn on each other. It's the whole night of the living dead thing. Who's your enemy? The person standing next to you or the monster you're in the cave with? The Descent did a really great job of giving me the feeling of movies like Aliens, where one of these creatures will be bad enough, but now there's 20 or 30 of them. You just feel like there's no way out of there. What scares people the most in the world? Claustrophobia, darkness, throwing some evil vampire people that live underneath and you gotta film.